faces, worn out places, worn out faces, bright and early for the daily races, going nowhere. Hello, I'm Dr. Blair, and welcome to Get Show Life Right. I am going to be up and close and personal with the basketball star Alec Bogus. I'm so excited. He's been away from the game after being suspended last year for being caught using crack cocaine. He has lost everything due to his addiction. He's going to talk about his struggle with his addiction and how he's overcoming it. A little background on the drug. Cocaine was found in the coca leaves and during the BC ages by the Incas. Cocaine was first isolated by German chemist Albert Neiman in 1859. Here in the United States, it was outlawed by the federal government with the Harrison Narcotic Act of 1914. So let's get right to it and get Alex's life right. Tune in. It's, it's been it's been rough it's mm -hmm. been really rough um, this is basically all I have left I mean uh, this is basically my therapy mm -hmm. um, this is what I've been doing a lot actually I have nothing else to go back to okay so you know I have to talk about it I know everybody's been bugging you about wanting to know millions of questions but this is what I'm here yeah, for actually. getting your life right mm -hmm. the addiction you're an NBA star. You have everything, basically the world in your hands. Yeah. Why use cocaine? Uh, well, I mean, I can't really tell you why I actually started using it. Um, other than the fact that, uh, you know, I'm an NBA player. I go to a lot of parties and right. stuff. I've, right. So, I mean, obviously there's going to be there's gonna be those people there that um, actually possess cocaine. And... I mean, I don't know. I've just been hearing from a lot of people that, well, I mean, it gets, just makes you feel awesome. It makes me feel crazy awesome. So I'm like, I, mean, I don't know. Why not? So one time I just, I don't know why I, I tried. I just did. I just mm -hmm. felt a lot of peer pressure, mm -hmm. which is weird. But uh, I did, and I just kind of fell into it. And after I tried it the first time, I was, I was hooked. Mm -hmm. So I'm aware that you took it right before your games. Um, I heard from another interview it made you feel like Superman per se yeah what's that no that's exactly right I, I, I mean I felt like I was invincible I felt on the court before the games I mean it, would be, it takes a while to kick in but not mm -hmm. too long and um, I felt crazy good I mean I felt like nobody could stop me mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I mean if I had that feeling why why not let's talk about the uh, psychological effects what's what was going on up here what was Tell me about that. When I was using the drug? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, uh, basically, it just made me feel incoherent, uh, paranoid, mm -hmm. and I, f I had these weird sensations, like something was crawling on me or something, like people, mm -hmm. some of the guys asked me before the games, like, dude, like, why are you tripping? But right. I'm, I'm just like, bro, I don't know, man. I'm just, I feel like there's something crawling on me, mm -hmm. and I, I don't know. That's mm -hmm. about it. I understand. And the physical effects? Um, physical effects, I mean, I had crazy increase in energy, mm -hmm. um, but it was just like, it would alter and stuff, and, uh, my mood would be really weird, I mean, it'd be, it'd go up, and, and then just have these weird, weird moods, I don't know, and, um, yeah, like I said, I just feel like I was on top of the world, like I was mm -hmm. Superman, like I said, um, yeah, that was basically it, but that feeling was just out of this world. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the aftermath. I've talked to your wife, Haley. And mm -hmm. So she was the main one who had to see that part of you at home and what you really went through afterward. You know, first you were so feeling like Superman. What was going on here in the personal life of Alec Bogus? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, the withdrawal symptoms. I mean, I, I actually tried to stop a lot, like, multiple times, and mm -hmm. I couldn't because, I mean, it was just 
I was addicted. I just, that's the simple truth. I was just addicted. And uh, I mean, I felt extremely tired. Um, I mean, I either mispracticed because I overslept or I'd be tired for games and stuff or um, so I, because I got too little sleep. Mm -hmm. um, I had these crazy, crazy, like out of this world dreams. I was, I don't know what was going on. And um, I had an increased appetite and sometimes the only thing to eat was junk food and I can't, I mean, so I was kind of getting out of shape and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and just at home, I mean, it was just, it was just rough because all these things were going on and um, I don't know, just my whole family had to see all this. It was just, it was crazy. It was just, I felt bad you know, that they had to go through this because of what I was doing because of my, uh, my mistakes, but it was just really, really broken down. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Thank you for being open about that. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back and I just want to wrap it up by saying now you see what the drug cocaine can do to you I just want you to know that it is dangerous it can kill you some people are not as lucky as Alec to make it out and survive so I'm gonna just say some of the risk factors of using cocaine um, it's been reported kidney failure heart attack emotional wise it can tear up a family apart it's, it's expensive, it can leave you broke, and you just don't want to just get go down that road. It can just really be bad. And as far as treatment, if you're out there and you, you're seeking help and you want to stop, rehabilitation is key. Go to your local rehab center, and you can't do this alone. You cannot quit cocaine cold turkey. It's just too strong of a drug. And, um, Alec, do you have anything else you want to leave with my audience? Um, no, I, mean, I just want to say thank you for, for letting me be on the show and doing an interview on me. And uh, I just want to say that I'm, I will definitely be back next season. Um, I'm making a lot of progress on my rehab, and um, I, I'm doing this for my family, doing this for doing this for myself, for God, and, you know. And that's about it. But thank you, thank you again. Well, this has been another episode of Get Your Life Right. Thank you, Ali. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.